Okay, today I'm going to show how we pull glass capillaries and make them fine enough to be able to pick individual ciliates out, either for cultivation or for DNA sequencing. A lot of people in the ciliate business like to pull out drawn regular pipettes and then use a bulb for suction. I prefer to use a different method. We have a tube, capillaries fit in one side, and we control the capillarity by using suction uh, or reverse pressure with the mouth. These are 100 microliter capillaries, the standards we buy them from Fisher Scientific. But the opening on that is probably about a millimeter, and that's too big. So in order to be able to make it small enough to pick an individual cell, I'm going to draw this out in a flame, and each one of these single capillary tubes will then give me two finer capillaries. First thing you have to do is get your Bunsen burner, nice hot flame with a nice well-defined cone at the top. And the other thing you have to do is be very zen-like. You got to be quiet, you got to focus, no distractions, because if you screw it up, you wreck the capillary, which isn't a big deal, but it's a waste of time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this just above the hottest part of the flame, the tip of that cone, the blue cone that you see there. I'll hold it there for a few seconds until it gets nice and orangey and I feel it soft. And then I pull it out of the flame and at the same time stretch it. And I'll pull it very fine and, and then I'll break them into two individual capillaries. All right, so now I'm going into Zen mode. Don't bug me. Ready? Okay, so now I can bend that over and break it. And then if I break it off right about there, I have really fine capillary tubes that I can insert into my mouth pipetter and pull up individual ciliates and even push them out into a, a, a culture uh, flask or something else. Uh, truth in advertising here, you should never mouth pipette any kind of substance that's toxic or harmful in any way. We only ever use these with pure natural seawater we get from Long Island Sound, so even if we were to get a little snoopful, it wouldn't be harmful to us. 